Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be discussing the Bensa Logita Washed Land Racery Ethiopia from Say Coffee. And there's the box right there. All right, this is a very tricky video. This is a very tricky coffee. This is a very tricky coffee roaster. So, if you've watched on this channel, I do have a video. I did go to Say's Cafe out in Brooklyn. It was a pretty nice experience. I've been drinking Say's coffee for quite a while actually. I've been drinking their coffee since before I even started this channel. Don't have a lot of offerings on their website usually, but what they do have always sounds really interesting. Intriguing coffee. It's right here, it's uh, day 14 of this coffee and it's been a little bit of a ride, so I'm just gonna jump right in and start discussing it. On day nine, which is when I found and purchased this coffee, quite a bit of vegetalness coming from the coffee. Uh, was getting some tropical fruit notes as it cools down. Mango was pretty prominent, pretty elegant, and then as it cooled down a little more, it became vegetable again. Day 12, and this is such an interesting day to discuss. Again, started out pretty vegetal, a little bit more lemon shining through at this point. But then I was getting quite a bit of really nice florals. And I want to talk about this point a lot. It tasted like a heart coffee I'd had, the Ethiopia Gadeb from heart. And heart has a very distinct and notable flavor profile for me. And I couldn't help but feel like I was drinking a cup of hearts. If you would have put me in a blind taste test with a bunch of hearts, I would have said for sure that this is one of hearts Ethiopia's. Very rose-like. Rose hip, rose water, very rose forward. And I couldn't help but wish I had done this day as a tasting wheel day because this was probably the peak day for me. The most flavor I was getting, very distinct and notable flavor on this day. And then day 13, a bit of uh, sweet tomato, some slight mango and tropical fruits with a rosy finish again. And I can't help but feel that the vegetalness of this coffee is still here on day 14. It's been just such an interesting experience with this coffee from the start. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the tasting wheel right now so you can see what I was getting. Of course, I have the florals, the highest rated thing on here. Uh, nothing else really that high. The description they put on the box of coffee was some citric acidity, uh, I think mango and tropical fruits were the other things they highlighted. And the citrus and stone fruits are the second highest thing on here. I don't think that there was anything here that was overly prominent. Not the sweetest cup of coffee, not the cleanest cup of coffee, still pretty clean. Not the heaviest body, tiny bit of smokiness, a little bit of acidity, but nothing really hit the mark as much as the florality of this coffee, which is something they didn't even mention. And discussing this coffee with a lot of people, I guess just to say in particular, it's really hard to figure out their coffee. It's really hard to get it right. No matter which brew method I was trying, no matter what changes, adjustments I've made, temperature, grind, I couldn't figure this coffee out. And I think that's what a lot of people say is when you're getting this, it's because you just need to, once you figure it out, it'll be something spectacular and amazing. But until that point, you're going to feel like you're drinking a underdeveloped coffee. And I think if I presented this coffee to a lot of people, they might say that they feel that same way. It's just underdeveloped and it's too grassy, it's too vegetal for them. And that's not to take away from the greatness of this coffee. What they're trying to go for is a lighter flavor profile than I think the American palate is used to. I drink a lot of coffees from all over the world, especially Europe too. And I can see why people feel like this coffee is just as light as it is and to an extent why some people might consider this undrinkable. With all those negative things I feel like I've said about it, they're not meant to be negative. I actually really enjoyed this coffee. I enjoyed the challenge, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the experience, and I enjoyed the trickiness of it. Even the flavor, I'm not gonna lie and act like I loved the vegetal component of this coffee or the grassiness, but the flavor when I was getting those tropical notes, when I was getting a lot of that rose was terrific for me. And I feel like there are some people that would really enjoy that as well. So who would I suggest this coffee to? Well, European Americans, so anybody here that does have that Scandinavian Nordic flavor profile that they're really looking for, Say's the way to go, and a lot of people will say the same thing about Say. But the other type of people I might suggest this to is somebody that's trying to figure out, that really does enjoy the 
I guess, difficulty of figuring out a complex coffee. And I enjoy this experience, so there's no knock on this. It's just definitely not going to be for everybody. If you feel like you're easily swayed by underdeveloped, like, anything that starts being too light, this is probably going to be too light for you. But if you're willing to venture and step out of your comfort zone, I'd give this one a shot, especially this Ethiopia. It might be one of my favorite coffees I've had from them, even with the somewhat negative things I've said about it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you've tried this coffee, and please, if you were able to figure out how to get this coffee right, comment down below. Let me know what you did. Let me know what you thought. If you're enjoying this content, like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But this right here has been a discussion of the Avensa Logita Washed Ethiopia from Say. Thank you for watching.